Hi friends, uh, this is Soft Reason. Uh, in this lesson, we will be learning how to check the load that is actually acting on the columns. The load that is acting directly on our strip foundations. And also, we will be looking at how to print the uh, result calculation sheet for our street foundation okay and so if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe and so let's start okay for us to be able to know the load that this column is actually taken to this foundation okay you will have to come to this structural tree panel okay and then this view setting of active window you click on it okay once it comes up you click on the column plan display okay and then you activate axial load okay then you have to select the load okay so we are going to use this one okay this one you know you will activate it okay after which you click on okay if you want to also see the bend moment that is acting in that direction you click okay and then you click on this bending movement okay you check it okay you also check the shear force if you want to see the shear force as well as well okay you you click on it okay and you click on okay all right so if you if you zoom out if you zoom in you will notice that this column is carrying a load of 100 and 16.1 kN okay the bend moment is 2.6 okay slash 3.7 kN meter and the shear force is this okay so during the analysis and design of this strip foundation you will notice that the load in this area was much heavier than the load in other area so if you check this particular column you will notice that this column is carrying a load of 434.3 kN okay and this one is also carrying a load of 295.8 kN all right so this is how you can check the load that is coming to the foundation okay and so the next thing we need to do is we will be looking at our calculation sheet okay we will learn how to print our calculation sheet and so you will go to you will go to the structural tree okay you go to this structural tree and you will look at your your slab strips okay you must ensure that you are at the zero story okay this is your story okay then you click on the slab strips okay you right click on it and then you click on slab analysis and design you click on it all right you can see the dead load and the life load that was used successfully okay so you click on design all right so once you you have this slab reinforced design okay so this is your uh, design calculation sheet okay you can see the abbreviation that was used okay is being identified and explained here okay uh, c means movement coefficients okay and the d slash h mean slab effective slash total depth okay so if you check down you will notice that you will notice that you have your material okay you can see the slab strips in this direction in the horizontal direction x1 okay store zero okay and it is fe strips okay which was what we use okay and so if you check down you can see the h the d okay which is the height and the depth okay you, these are the area of steel okay area of steel required is 763.2 okay millimeter square okay then area of steel support at the top is 904.7 as in the area of steel required and the area of steel 
approved okay you have them here and you can see the steel bar okay the top steel bar the top steel bar is white wife at spaces 125 top okay bottom yeah why wife at spaces 125 bottom so this is your calculation sheet for the strip foundation okay so if you want to print it you can decide whether you are going to print it in a, a microsoft word or you want to print it in a pdf you click on the pdf and then you can give it a name and send it to the location you want it to be i want it to be at the at the desktop and then i will click on save okay so it will take a little time to to save so these are the the strips Alright, so you can see it, it, it has served successfully, okay? So you can now print it out depending on the number of pages you want you attach it to your desired work. And also, if you check this point, you can also use this point to print as well, okay? You can also use this point to print, okay? So this is how you can print your calculation sheet okay let's close it and we have to cancel this all right so this bring us to the end of this lesson kindly subscribe for more lesson okay